Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Yeah, damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job Cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip And I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there Till I feel like I'm winning all And this is just the beginning I need a big change Help me feel like living I need a big swing Home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back Moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe To fight, to die, oh And this is my game to play To claim a brand new name, oh And I ain't gonna lie to you I'm a bit nervous that I might screw Everything up that I've ever done But what's the point of living if you ain't having fun? I guess I'll try this, try that Might miss, gotta find what I'm good at I guess I'll look here, look there Over where am I scared, where am I at? I gotta make it in this life Whatever makes me happy, know I'm doing things right in the summer on a goose and Sprite Or we'll find a nightclub for the end of the night, oh Hey guys, welcome back to Skillway It's me, Harry This is the second part of the flamethrower video In the previous video, we have discussed about the fuel that I use for the flamethrower and the actuation mechanism for the flamethrower In this video, we are going to discuss about how I fabricated the body and the ignition system of the flamethrower and also some negatives of this flamethrower so stay with me let's get on with it before fabricating the body i had to make some rough sketches i think i took like two or three days to design the body i did so much of drawings i think uh, seven or eight kind of drawings i did i was not at all satisfied with any some had some issues uh, some were okay but not perfect Sometimes all the components won't fit in. So there were many issues while designing the body. But finally I came to a design in which I was satisfied. Then I started designing it on SolidWorks. So that I could get a rough idea on how my flamethrower would end up. After designing it on SolidWorks, it was time for some 3D printing and fabrication. Mm -hmm. Actually, half the part of the plane thrower is 3D printed and the other half is made out of cardboard. Before finishing the fabrication, I had to move on to the ignition system. Actually, I was very confused with this part. I tried like 3 to 4 type of ignition systems for the flame thrower. First one was like a barbecue lighter. It will work really great but lighting the barbecue lighter every time didn't felt so cool to me so I decided to change it. My second option was to use a spark ignition system in which I could ignite a spark by a push of a button but the issue was that the spark was not enough to ignite the fuel coming out of the butane cap so I had to look for an alternative then I move on to arc ignition system which also finally ended up as a failure the arc was definitely powerful and it was capable of lighting the fuel but the issue was that the arc ignition system was not working all the time sometimes there was leakage of the arc the arc was igniting somewhere else than the ignition point and the ignition system was heating up very quickly damaging the circuit and many problems regarding that finally i decided to use a nichrome wire ignition system it was a simple mechanism in which i connected a nichrome wire to a battery 
so that I could get a red hot glowing nichrome wire which was more than enough for my fuel to ignite. But the issue with this system was I had to choose a proper battery setup. I used two lithium ion batteries rating 4000 mAh for the purpose which was more than enough and was working well. You must ensure that if the voltage and current is too high then you will melt your nichrome wire. And the nichrome wire that I used was of 24 gauge. So my ignition system was ready. Now I had to do some finishing works, some sanding and finally some spray painting. you can see I have used two switches here one for the Arduino to control the activation mechanism and another one for the nichrome wire to heat up and after turning these two I can use the flamethrower I told you there are some negatives for this flamethrower the main negative of this flamethrower is you all know the butane can is placed horizontally inside this flamethrower but a good amount of gas will come out of the butane can if it is placed vertically so that I had to shake this flamethrower like this while using it in order to get a bigger flame. And another negative is that I had used white color for this body. It's getting dirty really quickly. So guys if you want to know more about the circuit diagram, the Arduino coding and rest of anything you can contact me on Instagram. My account details will be either on the description or the comment section. Ok guys, I don't want anybody to make this flamethrower, I just want to share the knowledge, I just want to, I just want you to know how I made it. So guys, thank you for being part of Skillway, thank you for watching till the end, I'll see you on another video, that's all for today, bye.